Good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm just sat at traffic lights on my way to work. Because uh, on Wednesdays I work and I'm still pretty snotty, but I'm feeling a lot more energy. I feel kind of well, but snotty, if that makes sense. Although I went to bed last night, perfectly normal around the lips. <laughs> and I've woken up this morning and I've got this sore in the corner of my lips here. And there was no indication of that arriving when I went to bed yesterday. So I just feel like, do you remember the the programme, I think it was in the 90s, on British television called The British Empire. And there was that character of Colin, who was just always really falling apart and had like plasters and was snotty. And I feel like that. I feel like the character of Colin from The British Empire. <laughs> just a little bit disgusting anyway it's a working day so let's see uh what i get filmed i was going to take my advents with me to work so i could open them there but i completely forgot in the rush of the morning so now i am driving through the wilds of south london where it has been a very busy journey so far this morning uh and yeah it's, i've already been driving for 40 minutes and i'd normally be there by now so I'm gonna well we're stopping at light so i'll turn the camera off now whilst I'm red from the traffic, from the lights in the car in front of me and I will see you again a bit later. The temperatures have really dropped in the last couple of days and it is very easy at this time of year to stay cosy in my office next to the heater. But there is still so much to see outside in winter and I've said this before but the world smells different so I forced my snotty self out for a lunchtime walk to find some little bits of nature to try and brighten my day. The gardeners have been very busy sweeping all the leaves up into massive piles. It is very tempting. But no, I resisted. And there are still some mushrooms to be found, not many, but the logs are still putting on a lovely display. My drive home takes me through towns and villages but it also takes me along some very rural roads that are unlit and I wanted to film it for you to show you how the country lanes look when it's so dark at this time of year but I didn't expect it to come out quite this dark. So you can just about see us leaving the lit area to go into the unlit area and my headlights just light up the street signs there you see and then it's complete darkness. Not very interesting. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm home wow. from work. Well, I've been home from work for a little while. I've been upstairs just finishing editing the video that's going up tonight. So Dan has been cooking and he's just told me dinner is ready. He's just serving it up. The girls are eating this. They've got sausage, mash and beans. And we've got Sausage, mash and vegetables. That doesn't some... look like a sausage. Oh, salmon. Salmon, roasted vegetables and smashed potato. Not smash, actual potato, but smash, not mashed. Yes. Got it. Oh, dinner was lovely. I was so hungry. I didn't realise how hungry I was. 
Um, it's one degree outside at the moment. So we've decided, we haven't got much wood left, but we've decided to use what wood we do have left and light ourselves a fire and just let that permeate, let the heat from that permeate on a slow burn throughout the rest of the evening to take the chill off. So I'm gonna do that quickly now, whilst everyone's arguing about the washing up in the kitchen. We have no kindling up here. There's some in the woodshed, but it's too cold and nobody wants to go and get it. So I'm going to attempt to light a fire using a natural fire lighter, a lollipop stick with a bit of wax on it. Long story why I've got that. And a small log. <laughs> Will I manage it? Let's see. Day. I'm gonna end the vlog now but before we do How old? so we have a tradition in our family that on the day before your birthday you get a birthday Eve book it's been going on for like since you were four years old I think four or five I years started old. it because when I was four years old the day before my birthday she left a pepper book she Pe yeah who's she the cat's mother why do we say that what? Say what? Who's she, the cat's mother? I never heard anyone say that before. Oh, well now you have. Um, anyways, <laughs> she left my Peppa Pig book for my birthday out on the bed and I come in and I find it and I'm like, what's this? And she's like, it's your birthday Eve book! That's exactly how it happened and ever since then, everybody gets a Lies. book on their birthday Eve. She's just forgetful. Yeah, but it worked out well because now we all get a book the day before our birthday. So this year... Oh, yeah, year, Dad's here too. So Fee... Oh, yeah, Dad's here, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dan to you. <laughs> Dad. His name is Dad. Um, so this this year, Phoebe's really been getting into, a little bit like me, a bit of the, the old cosy murder. Think Death in Paradise, if you ever watched Death in Paradise. That kind of mystery not too it's not gory but you get to solve the puzzle kind of thing we found a book for her age it's the very merry murder club who's it by yeah. oh no i've been I've we, been bet, we better solve it it's by it's edited it's by, by many many people yeah but it's edited by these people Okay. It's edited by Serena Patel and Robin Stevens and illustrated by Harry Woodgate. Yeah, those people. And it's got a lot of different authors in it. It's for Phoebe's age. Phoebe is 12. Uh, and there are a few different versions. Waterstones have actually got um, a special edition version where the edges of the pages have got um, different colours on. The Very Merry Murder Club. So we've, you've, um, we've been reading the first I'm one together. I'm not bored. I do have hair. So we've been reading the first one together, but Phoebe's also skipped ahead and finished it, and you said it was really good, didn't you? Would you recommend it for other kids your age? I actually figured it out, because I'm very smart. <laughs> but would you recommend it for people your age? My age. Is it scary? No. Is it 
Is it interesting? Yeah. Is it... Are the characters good? Yeah. The very first line in the very, very first story is... is... Ballerinas are extremely difficult to kill. <laughs> uh, Dan, do you want to say what you're reading? So I'm reading Dave's Scroll. Um, Dave Scroll. Dave, Dave Scroll, the storyteller. It's his autobiography. It's really good. Um, really interesting stories. Um, some of them make me laugh. They're just funny. And he's yeah, yeah, yeah. lots of really interesting people. You chuckle quite a bit yeah. at night when you're reading it. Um, and, yeah, oh, and I've read for it quite quickly. You have. You've read yeah. it very quickly. But wasn't that a birthday present? Um, I know I bought it for you. It was either birthday or last Christmas. It's taken me a while to get to it. Uh, but I've really enjoyed it. I gave you this. And I'm still reading um, The Midwitch Cuckoos, but I've nearly finished. I've only got, it's getting really interesting in the way that books do as you get towards the end of them. Anyway, say night night to the vlog. Night night. See you tomorrow for day eight. You're not a thing, stop trying to be a thing. I will Who come. watches Wednesday? It's very good. I think it's too scary. I don't watch it because it's scary. It's not scary. <laughs>